Saturday the 15th of April 1989. The FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest is due to kick off at 3pm. The match is being held at Sheffield Wednesday's Hillsborough ground. All 54,000 tickets have been sold. By noon on the day of the cup tie, a few fans have started to arrive. Liverpool supporters have been allocated the west end of the Hillsborough Stadium, so their route will keep them away from Nottingham Forest fans arriving from the south. This also means the Liverpool supporters will all have to pass through one entrance, Leppings Lane. 10,000 Liverpool supporters have tickets for the standing terraces. They will have to enter through just seven turnstiles. By 2pm, a little over 2,000 have done so, meaning 8,000 are still to come in the hour before kick-off. After passing through the turnstiles, many fans go straight down the tunnel leading into the central pens behind the goal, pens three and four. By a quarter past two, a crowd is starting to build outside the stadium. It increases rapidly over the next 15 minutes. Flow through the turnstiles is steady but slow. Inside, a loudspeaker message asks people on the terrace to move forwards and spread along sideways, but high fences divide the pens and gates between them are at the back, so the more full the pens become, the harder it is to switch. In the police control box, the man in charge of the match, Chief Superintendent David Duckenfield, and another officer discuss whether to delay the kick-off to give people more time to get into the ground. They decide against. Outside, supporters are pressing into the turnstiles and alongside a large exit gate called Gate C. By a quarter to three, five and a half thousand people have passed through the turnstiles, meaning there are still more than 4,000 fans with tickets for the terraces outside the ground. Thousands are now packed into the Leppings Lane bottleneck. Stationed outside, Superintendent Roger Marshall makes several requests for permission to open the exit gates to relieve the pressure. Inside the ground, the central pens are filling up. Chief Superintendent Duckenfield gives the order and Gate C is opened. More than 2,000 fans enter, many head into the packed pens 3 and 4. The gate remains open for about five minutes. During that time, the players come onto the pitch and the crowd surges forwards. The match kicks off just before 3 p.m. The crush at the front of pens 3 and 4 is now highly dangerous. A barrier breaks in pen 3 and people fall forwards. It also increases the pressure on those at the front. As the crush intensifies, some fans escape by climbing over the fence at the front of the pens. It becomes apparent that a disaster is unfolding and police stop the match at six minutes past three. Desperate people are lifted over the top of the fences and fans in the upper stand pull others to safety. Police try to free those at the front through the narrow gates near the pitch. There are not enough stretchers and supporters use advertising hoardings to carry the injured. The first ambulance arrives on the pitch at 14 minutes past three, but many fans are already fatally injured. <laughs> 